Google is really important to your company or organization. And SEO, of course, is how you get to the top of Google for free. Those are things we share in our top 10 free tools for Google webinar. I hope you can join us. In this webinar, however, I'm going to show you five cool tricks you can use to pull information out of Google about how it perceives your company, some really important data. My name is Jason McDonald of the JM Internet Group. Let's get started. All right, so our agenda for our session is first we're going to look at a tip to get into the customer mind or the customer keywords. Second, we're going to look at the site command, which most people don't know how to use. Third, we're going to talk about how to leverage Google uh, to identify other review sites that are important for your business. Fourth, we're going to look at the blog search capability to find blogs and bloggers that are relevant to your business, as well as monitor what's being said about you in the blogosphere. And we're going to conclude uh, by looking at Google email alerts. All right, so the first thing in SEO, search engine optimization, of course, is keywords drive customer search. So customers go to Google, they type in keywords. Uh, in our classes, of course, we go into this in great detail, but I want to share with you a way just to quickly get into how do customers search Google. Now, all of the links and materials are on our website. You can get the materials by going to jm-seo.org slash 25. It's also in the bottom there uh, in the YouTube description. So that's how you're going to get to your materials if you want to get to the class materials. All right, so let's look at our tip number one. And let's go over to Google. And let's realize uh, some tips that we can do. So the first tip that we can do here is we're going to look at related searches. So let's take a search, industrial fans. OK. And over on the left-hand side, click Show Search Tools. Scroll down. And what you're looking for is this magic little guy right here, related searches. So I would like to know, what do my customers search for? So I'm going to click on related searches. And then presto, it opens up all sorts of great search ideas. This is where when you build your blog, when you build your content, you can see people search for industrial fans, industrial ceiling fans, exhaust fans, used fans, etc. Once you've turned this on, you can type in anything. Type in pizza and see what do people search for. So related searches over here on the left is your first really important aspect of keyword. Now, Related to that, I want to share with you some other interesting aspects. Let's go back to Google, and let's just start typing in industrial fans. And you'll see here in the bottom, it gives you some idea of what people search for. And you can play with that as you're searching to get ideas. You can do that for anything. Power lawn mowers. And you can see people search for power lawn mower reviews, power lawn mower parts. So this Google suggest is very important. Now you can have some fun with it. Why are men so? And you can see what women are searching for us. Why are women? Let's be gender neutral here. So you can get a sense. So your Google suggest in a serious way, take whatever you're interested in, herbal medicine, and get a sense of what people search. Google suggest. That's another area. Final tip on Google search for helping with those keywords is take the tilde command. It's on the top left of your keyboard. I've called this the revenge of the high school Spanish teacher. So type in tilde, put in a word like lawyer, and hit enter. And Google shows you synonyms, closely related words, that you can build out. This is sort of funny. New Jersey is on here. So it can show you that people who type in lawyer also type in attorney. Attorneys, plural, legal, lawyer, uh, attorney. You can get a sense of keyword synonyms. And you can do that for any word that you're interested in. You can put in here fans, and it'll show you fans. It should probably ultimately show you ventilation, blower, etc. So this is a good synonym tool. So that's your first tip on Google is to get to keywords. There's a lot of other tips um, out there as well. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, we want to understand how many pages of our website is Google indexing and how frequently is Google returning to our content, pulling our content. We're going to do that with the site command on Google. So I'm going to go back to my uh, search uh, setup here. 
And I've got a couple uh, that I'm playing with. I've played with a couple companies here. Petropolis, I don't know these companies, but Petropolis, which is a St. Louis catboarding company. Big Ass Fans, which is my favorite industrial fan company because they have a sense of humor and our own website. I just want to show you. Let's take Big Ass Fans here. So they sell big fans. That's their name. So you type in site colon with no space. So site colon with no space. And then over on the left, open up that more uh, related information. And over here, look at that. You can click on any time. You can see there's 2,970 results for big ass fans in Google. This is their indexing uh, total uh, volume. I can then scroll over and see how frequently is Google pulling content. You can see it's pulling by the past month. Now let's compare that to Petropolis, which is a pet point. So let's put it Petropolis.com. And let's go to any time. So this is a St. Louis company that does pet boarding. I'm sure they're fantastic. Site Petropolis.com with no space, 222 results. Now over here, past month, nothing. Past year. This tells me this website is not being indexed very rapidly, and that's something that we would want to work on. You can put our site in here, site colon, again, no space, and your domain you can see we have content at least being pulled every week. So that's your second tip, site command. How does Google index your website and how frequently? Number three, a lot of people that take our classes, a lot of small businesses live and die on review marketing. So they need to get customers to review them. Google, obvious choice, we want to be on Google plus local, which is its new name for Google Places, but I'd also like to be on Yelp City Search. Now, how do I know what are the review sites if I don't know what they are? You can actually use Google to find review sites. So let's do that, and let's talk about how we do that. Again, all of these instructor links are up here on our website with the code 25. Now, let's go over to Google, and let's say we're a sushi restaurant. So let's type in sushi restaurant. Okay, and I've got my location set to New York. So sushi restaurant is our search. Let's say we're a sushi restaurant. We're going to enter the sushi restaurant world, et cetera. Look at these reviews. Okay, now those are your Google reviews. So let's drill down into somebody. Let's take Nobu. Let's drill down into them. Here's our Google reviews. Let's go to the very bottom of the page. And what you will see at the bottom of review pages, so find a competitor, you can see that TripAdvisor, City Search, and Menu Pages also have heavy review content for sushi restaurants. So what do you do then? You can then click on this guy here. Now I'm at a competitor's review, Nobu's review on TripAdvisor. What does my action item become? How do I get my own company on TripAdvisor? I go through all of the mechanics of uh, claiming my listing, etc. So you can use Google for review searches. Again, let me show you how to do that. You go to Google. Let's type in something different. Let's type in watch repair. Okay, and let's see who shows up here. And let's look at who's showing up. So there's three Google reviews here. Let's click on this guy. Let's go to the bottom and see if there's any on other websites. Frommers, New York Magazine, NY. Then you click over here. So if I was in watch repair, I can use Google to find reviews on the internet that I'd like to get into, and then I have my homework uh, to go and figure out how to get on those review sites. So that's your tip number three, is using Google to identify possible review site targets. Pretty cool that you can do that through Google. Number four, sort of interrelated here, and this isn't just for local search people, it's for everybody. I'd like to know what are people saying in the blogosphere about my keywords, about my company, guess what? Google blog search to the rescue. So how do we do this? Let's go over and let's look at our instructor links. Okay, now there's a couple funny things here. You, you can directly go to Google blog search if you know how to get there. But let's say we don't. Let's just go to Google and let's type in industrial fans. Let's take that keyword industrial fans. And I want to sort of know what are people saying on the blogosphere about my keywords? Why? Because I want to reach out to those bloggers who are talking about industrial fans. I'm going to go over here on the left. I'm going to click the more tab. I'm going to go down to blog. So that's where it's hidden. It's on the left hand side. 
You've got to click more to get to blogs. It's very silly the way they've hidden this. It's not over here, strange enough. Click blogs. Now, presto, I'm on the Google blog search, and guess what I can do? I can find out what blogs are specific to my keyword, and I can find who's blogged recently on that topic. I can reach out to those bloggers. Now, look over here. I can see who's blogged in the past week on industrial fans. Somebody over here has blogged in the past week on industrial fans. Now, let's talk about monitoring our company. Monitoring our company. So let's put in, quote, Big Ass Fans. That's the name of the company. And now I can see, this is why I say you can use Google to monitor what's going on about your company. So I've opened up blog search. I put in my company name, Big Ass Fans, JM Internet Group, you know, John's Pizza Restaurant, whatever your company name is, I can see what blogs are talking about us and what blog posts, and I can also vary that over time. So this is a great way to monitor what are people saying about your company in the blogosphere, your competitor, your own keywords. So it's Google Blog Search. And I also have in the instructor links, I have the direct link over to the Google Blog Search uh, engine. They tend to hide it. Just remember, when you do a search, start your search, pizza, I spelled it wrong, whatever, let's correct that one. So pizza, over here on the left-hand side, show search tools. I'm sorry, left-hand side, more, blogs, and then that opens the blog search. So you've got to get to that left-hand column to find out some really important stuff on Google. So that's your Google blog search. All right, now let's go over here to number five. So the world changes so fast. What are they saying about our company? Wouldn't it be great if there was an email system that would send me an alert? Hey, every time somebody wrote a blog post on the JM Internet Group, every time somebody wrote a blog post on our keywords, things like SEO training, SEO tools, etc., guess what? There is a system. It's called Google Alerts, and you can get to that system here. So how do we do that? Let me go back to my instructor links. I lost them here. Let me go back to instructor links here. So we're going to go to in just in instructor links, and I'm going to come down here, and I have the link direct to them, Google Alerts. Here's where you sign in to your Google account, your Gmail account. You type in whatever you're interested in, organic food. You can set an alert for everything or just the blogs or just discussions, just books, but most people are going to set it to everything. You can set your time. Etc. You set that alert up, it sends it to your Gmail or whatever your Google account is, and you hit manage your alerts. So this is the alerts I have. I'm doing alerts for free SEO tools, my name and my company name, and I'm getting those results um, on a weekly or daily basis. The other way you can get to this is kind of crazy. Go to Google. Let's say we're Geico Insurance. So I'm going to type in Geico. Hit Geico. They kind of hide it. Get to that blog tab, go to blogs. At the bottom of the blog tab, create an email alert for Geico. Hit there, and it's going to set it up for you. So those alerts will be pulled to your email mailbox, and you will be rocking and rolling, knowing what's being said about you on the Internet for free via Google Alerts. So those are our five top tips to use Google to really understand your keywords, your kind of what buzz is going on in your industry, and also to monitor uh, what's being said about your company and how Google uh, interprets your companies. So for more information, you can download the links there. The link is in the YouTube video description at the bottom, or you can go to jm-seo.org slash 25. Uh, we, of course, teach classes on SEO, social media, AdWords. I hope you're able to take our top 10 SEO Tools webinar, which is sort of a companion uh, to this video. Uh, that's a ton of fun. If you have questions, my information is there on the screen, so feel free to call me um, or send me an email. I'm always eager uh, for questions. So thank you so much for watching.